Hi friends, my name is Victoria Rodriguez and I'm a mindful movement instructor. Today I'm going to be guiding you through an invigorating vinyasa practice for your morning to help you wake up and energize you for your day. As always, only you know your body best, I'm only your guide. So if at any point you need to take a modification, uh, amplification, a variation, take whatever you need, just listen to your body and what it needs. So we're going to start in child's pose or balasana at the back of your mat. You're going to bring your knees as wide as your mat, big toes touch under your sits bones, and then start to walk your hands in front of you. Bring your forehead to the mat, let your heart space sink down towards the floor, and start to settle here into your breath. Begin to find stillness in your body, in your mind. Noticing how your chest, belly, and the back of your spine expand with every inhale and how they collapse with every exhale. Taking a deep breath in to fill up all the way to the top here. And an open mouth exhale to let it go. And just keep breathing here. From here, keeping your torso where it is, start to walk your hands to the right edge of your mat. Let your left hand rest on top of your right. Keep your forehead glued to the ground and take two cycles of breath here, feeling an opening in your left side body. And then travel your hands through center, bring them to the left edge of this mat. This time, let your right hand rest on top of your left. Noticing if this side feels different and doing just that, just bringing awareness to the fact that that is where your body's at this morning. Try not to attach any criticism or judgment to this. Walk your hands back to center. Keep your elbows glued into the mat as you bring your hands to prayer behind your neck. A deeper opening here, completely optional as always. Stay here for one more breath. And then when you're ready, bring the palms of your hands to the mat. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, table top. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrist and your hips on top of your knees. Fingers wide like spider webs here. And we're gonna start to warm up our spine. So on your next inhale, find your cow pose, drop your belly button, open up through your chest, gaze at the ceiling. Exhale, cat press into your hands, dome through your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow, drop your belly, gaze up. Exhale, cat, round and curl. And continue to take your cat and cows here at your own pace. Maybe you start to invite gentle movement into your body by swaying your hips side to side, forward and back. Maybe you roll out your neck. Maybe you rotate your hands so your fingers face you, knowing that there is no right or wrong. Making whatever choice feels good in your body this morning. And take two more cycles here. When you're ready, find stillness. Inhale, reach your right arm up, gaze up. Exhale, thread the needle, bring your right arm under your left, press your right cheek to the mat and breathe here. Option to keep your left hand where it is. Option to walk it forward for a side opening on the left. One more breath. And if you moved your hand, bring it back in front of your nose. Inhale, unwind, reach high. Exhale, release, tabletop. We'll do that on the other side. Inhale, reach your left arm up, gaze up. Exhale, thread the needle. Left cheek comes to the mat this time. Again, option to keep your left hand where it is or reach it forward, making sure to balance yourself out with whatever you did on the other side. If you move your hand, bring it back in front of your nose. Inhale, unwind, reach high. Exhale, release, tabletop. From here, 
You're gonna step your right foot behind you, spread all five toes, and then start to shift forward and back, opening through your calf muscle, the sole of your foot, your toes. And then from here, slide your right leg out to the right. So I'll turn so you can see. Your right foot is gonna be extended, sole of your foot on the mat. From here, drop your seat onto your left heel, let your forearm sink down to the mat, and let your head and neck drop. You're gonna feel an opening in the front and back side of your right leg. If this is too much, always an option to lift the sole of your foot off the mat, and just stay for one breath. And then from here, shift forward, lift yourself up onto your left knee, and then lift your right toes off the mat. We're gonna find our gate pose. Drop your right hand to your right knee. Inhale, reach your left arm full up to the ceiling. Exhale, gate pose, side body stretch on the left side by reaching to the right. Rotate your left pinky finger in to keep your shoulder away from your ear. And then just taking this as gently as you can if you just woke up. One more inhale. Exhale, find your modified side plank. So keep your left knee where it is, plant your left hand on the mat and then reach your right arm overhead. Always an option to readjust if you wanna challenge your left oblique slightly. Keeping left shoulder on top of left wrist. Reach your right arm up and over. One more inhale. Exhale, reach your right arm overhead for a side body stretch, kind of like a modified rock star pose here. Press into your knee and your foot here. One more inhale. Exhale, tabletop. This time you're facing the back of your mat. And we're gonna do all of that on the other side. Step your left foot behind you this time. Again, spread all five toes and then start to rock forward and back. And then when you're ready, Slide your left leg to the left side. So again, I'll turn so you can see me. And then from here, plant the sole of your foot on the mat. Drop your seat onto your right heel, drop your forearms to the ground, and then let your head and neck drop. Take whatever modification you need here. Breathe into it. And then when you're ready, come forward and then come up onto your right knee. Lift your left toes off the mat, left hand to left knee. Inhale, reach your right arm up and overhead. Exhale, gate pose. Reach for the left side, opening through the right side. Again, make space between your shoulder and your ear. Maybe your gaze meets your top hand here. One more inhale. Exhale, modified side plank. Drop your right hand to the mat. Adjust yourself here. Beginning to engage your core again, your right oblique as you reach your left arm up and overhead. One more inhale. Exhale, modified rock star pose. Just reach your left arm over your ear. Reach for the front of the room. One more inhale. Exhale, release tabletop. Coming back to the top of your mat. I know that was a lot of movement, so if you need to readjust yourself here, get settled. Inhale, high plank. Step your feet behind you, hold and breathe. Press into the caps of your fingertips here. One straight line from your heels to the crown of your head. Bring your belly button up towards your spine. Find your strength. One more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, send your hips high. And then from here, just get settled. Maybe you pedal into your feet. Maybe you rock your hips side to side, shake your head yes, no. As you press into your hands, bring the insides of your elbows out to the front, keep your shoulders away from your ears, let your head and neck drop. Beautiful. Just stay for one more breath. Inhale, gaze forward in between your hands. Exhale, take baby steps to the top edge of your mat, heel to toe, heel to toe. And then bring your feet hips with distance as you bend into your knees. Let your belly rest on your thighs, let your head and neck drop. Find your forward fold, Uttanasana. And it's yogi's choice here. So maybe you grab for opposite elbows and sway side to side. Maybe you shake your head, yes, no. Take whatever feels good here. Letting go of your head so that there's no wrinkles on the back of your neck. 
And then when you're ready, drop your hands to your mat. Heel toe your feet together to touch. Keep your knees bent as you slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Let your head and neck be the last to come up at the top like a stack of coins. And then once you find your standing position, letting go of any wiggles, any cracks in your joints or pops. And then when you're ready, find your mountain pose, Tadasana. Palms of your hands reach out to the front, shoulders away from your ears, root into all four corners of your feet. Activate your quads, activate your core, bring your crown of your head to the sky. And then close your eyes, feeling fully into this pose here, into the strong mountain shape. And then when you're ready, Inhale, reach your arms overhead, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana, drop your arms to your sides. Inhale, Urva Hastasana, reach overhead. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step to a high plank, lower all the way down to your mat. We're going to find a variation of our cobra here. So untuck your toes behind you, bring your hands wider than your mat, and then come up to your fingertips. Inhale, wide cobra, lift your chest, stay here and breathe. Keep your neck neutral as you press into your hands for a slight back bend, press onto the tops of your feet here. Inhale, exhale, drop your left shoulder to your midline, opening up through our heart space here. Inhale, lift, exhale, drop your right shoulder to your midline this time. We're going to do that again on both sides. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop left shoulder to midline. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop right shoulder to midline. Inhale, lift all the way to the top. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands back under your shoulders, tips of your fingers, in line with your nipples, and then untuck your toes, or tuck your toes behind you. Inhale, press up to a high plank or a tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Another deep inhale and an exhale. Let's continue with our Surya Namaskar A or Sun Salutation A. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, step jump or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urva Hastasana, reach overhead. Exhale, Tadasana, drop your arms. Inhale, Urva Hastasana, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda Uttanasana. Exhale, step out to a high plank, lower halfway down this time. Find your Chaturanga Dandasana, 90 degrees in your elbows, right next to your ribs. Find your strength. Inhale, upward facing dog, Urva Mukha Svanasana, one breath here. This is our first time in this shape. I want you to press into your hands, bring the insides of your elbows out to the front, press onto the tops of your feet to lift your thighs off the mat. One more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Beautiful. Settle here for two cycles of breath. And then we'll move through our sun sal A once more. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urva Hastasana, reach high. Exhale, Tadasana, release. Inhale, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa your Chaturanga Dandasana, or choose low cobra or skip. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale and an exhale. Let's move on to our Surya Namaskar V. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, sit low, reach high, stay here and breathe. Keep your weight in your heels. Make sure that you can see all 10 toes past your knees as you keep your seat low, making sure there's one straight line from your sacrum to the crown of your head by engaging your core. Frame your ears with your biceps, so good. Maybe you lower one more inch, nice. One more inhale. 
Exhale, Tadasana, drop your arms, stand tall. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana, sit low, reach high. Exhale, forward, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda, Uttanasana. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in and deep breath out. One more inhale and an exhale. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. And then gently drop your foot for low lunge. Inhale, high crescent, reach overhead. Exhale, warrior two, open up 90 degree on your front knee, power through your arms. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back, lift up and out of your hips, press into the blade of your back foot. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa, spiral your arms, bring your right foot. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg lift. Exhale, knee to nose, and then gently step your foot in between your hands, keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, high crescent, reach overhead, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, warrior two. Keep your torso stacked on top of your hips. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Open up through your left side body. Keep bending into your front knee. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Always an option to skip it. And stay here for three cycles of breath. Letting your head hang heavy. Keeping your breath as soft and wide as you can. A lot of times we let it become quick and shallow, but let us use our breath as an anchor into the present moment here to ground us, to center us. We'll do that once more with warrior one this time. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, sit low, reach high. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda Uttanasana. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And stay for two cycles of breath. I'm wondering if you can hear my creaky floors here, my old New York apartment. <laughs> Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through, ground your back heel this time. It's gonna be at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, warrior one, reach your arms overhead and settle here. If you are finding a difficult time trying to square your hips to the front, you always have the option to widen your stance here. Bend into your front knee and then knit your ribs in to keep your core engaged, keep your spine long. Press into the blade of your back foot. One more inhale. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Always an option to skip it. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Another inhale and an exhale. Inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge, step it through, ground your back heel. Inhale, warrior one, reach overhead, settle here and breathe. If you find your shoulders creeping up to your ears, can you bring them back down? Bend into your front knee. Activate your back leg. One more inhale. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale and stay for three cycles of breath. Let's move on here, inhale, three-legged down dog, right leg lifts, exhale, low lunge, step it through, inhale, high crescent, reach high, exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, extend your right leg, your front leg, Exhale, triangle trikonasana, reach forward, forward, forward until you start to descend. Bring your arms to six and 12 on the clock and settle here. 
I want you to focus on making this an expansive pose. So what do I mean by that? Rather than making your, the goal to touch the ground here with your fingertips, I want you to open up your chest, press into the blade of your back foot, stack your top hip on top of your bottom, left shoulder on top of your right. Imagine someone's grabbing your top wrist and lifting you up. making sure that your front foot is still parallel to the long edge of your mat, beautiful. Just stay here for one more breath. One more inhale. Exhale, lift your torso, bring your hands to your hips, and then lift your front toes, pivot your front foot to parallel your back foot. Inhale, puff up to your chest. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, let your head and neck drop, let your hands drop. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, release, and breathe here. This is once again Yogi's choice. So if you'd like to play around here, depending on how much time you have this morning, if you'd like to pause this video and work on an inversion or any other stretches, or if not, we'll stay here for two cycles of breath. Option for you to bend into your front and back knee. Option for a heart opener, a twist, whatever feels good here in your body this morning. Staying for one more breath. And then bringing your hands back under your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, frame your front foot. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your right leg high. Exhale, open up your hip, right heel meets your left glute here. Option to roll out your ankle, roll out your knee. Noticing if your chest is opening to the right, can you dial your right armpit down by pressing into your right hand? Beautiful. Inhale, three-legged down dog, square your hips. Exhale, down dog, release. Option to float through your vinyasa or just stay here for about three cycles of breath. And I'm just gonna turn here so you can see me. <laughs> and we'll do that on the other side. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, high crescent, reach overhead. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, extend through your front leg. Exhale, triangle trikonasana, reach forward and then descend. And breathe here. Again, how much power can you bring into all four limbs here? Maybe your gaze meets your top hand. By now, hopefully you feel a little bit more awake. One more breath here. On your next inhale, lift your torso, hands to hips, lift your front toes and pivot to parallel your back foot. Inhale, puff up through your chest. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Whatever you did on the other side, repeat here, or maybe you try something different. Knowing that how your body feels this morning is not how it felt yesterday, it's not how it felt last week, last month. Whatever that looks like, can you honor where you're at? Can you give yourself grace and embrace fully your journey? It is never one linear path. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, frame your front foot, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your left leg high. Exhale, open up your hip. Left heel meets right glute this time. And whatever you did on the other side, repeat here. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, down dog. Option to flow through your vinyasa here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And stay for three cycles of breath. Stay in your down dog here. From here, we're gonna start to set up for a slight back bend series. So from your down dog, inhale, shift forward to a high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down until your belly and forehead reach the ground and untuck your toes behind you. Keep your hands right by your nipple line here, elbows tucked in by your ribs. 
Inhale, low cobra, bhujangasana, lift your chest, gaze at the top of your mat and breathe here. Press into the tops of your feet to lift your kneecaps off the mat. Crown of your head reaches for the front. Little to no weight in your hands. Hold for one more breath. One more inhale, maybe you lift an inch higher. Exhale, release right cheek to mat. Drop your arms by your side. Beautiful. And just stay here and breathe. Letting yourself fully recover. Again, noticing the pace of your breath. And then the next progression here is going to be locust. So if you already know that locust is not going to feel good in your body, if that's not in your practice, then you have the option to stay in your low cobra once more. If you'd like to try locust, keep your arms next to your sides or option to interlace your fingers behind you. Bring edges of your feet together. Inhale, lift everything up, breathe here. If you have a tender lower back, maybe you keep your feet hips with distance, but I want you to point your toes, activate your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs together, lift through your chest by pressing your wrist to the back, or your fist rather to the back. Inhale, maybe you lift everything one inch higher. Exhale, release left cheek to mat this time, let it go. Noticing the fire here in your belly and your body. All the energy that you carry within you. The last move or last progression here is bow pose. Same as before, if that is not in your practice, if that's something that you know you're not, it's not going to work this morning, you have the option to stay in your low cobra or your locust. If you'd like to try your bow pose, bend your knees here, lift your head. Inhale, grab for the ankles behind you and then lift your thighs, lift your chest. And I want you to focus on activating your inner thighs by bringing your knees as close as you can together. Rather than focusing on lifting your chest, focus on lifting your feet, lifting your thighs off and then your chest will follow. Beautiful. Just stay with it. One more breath. Find your strength here. One more inhale. Exhale, release, left hand comes to the mat, right hand stacks on top. Let your forehead rest on your hands here, elbows wide. And breathe here. Again, remembering that this is a journey. taking as long as you need here to recover. But whenever you're ready, you're gonna bring your hands back under your shoulders again. Tuck your toes behind you. Inhale, press up to a high plank or a tabletop. Exhale, down dog. And breathe here. Using this pose here to neutralize our spine. Let your head and neck be heavy. And then when you're ready, come up to your tabletop. From here, we're gonna gently find our child's pose. So bring your knees as wide as your mat and then bring your seat back. Using this moment here, again, just to recover a little, to neutralize our spine. Not staying for too long, only two cycles of breath. And then when you're ready, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, find your high plank and then your down dog. Inhale, three-legged down dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Drop your back knee, untuck your back toes. Inhale, crescent moon, anjaneyasana, reach overhead, stay for one breath. Stack your front knee directly on top of your front ankle. One straight line from your sacrum to the crown of your head, send energy to the tips of your fingers, beautiful. One more inhale. Exhale, side body stretch, drop your right hand to your right knee, reach your left arm to the right. Keep that shoulder away from your ear. Maybe your gaze meets your top hand as you open up through your left psoas muscle or your side body. One more inhale. Exhale back to your Anjaneyasana. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest up, maybe your head and neck drop behind you. Stay here for one breath. Bring your shoulder blades to kiss behind you. Activate your back muscles. Open up through your throat chakra. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, low lunge. Lift your back knee. Inhale, low lunge, twist. Reach your right arm up and overhead. Hold for one breath. Activate your back leg by lifting your back heel. Keep your hips square to the front. One more inhale. Exhale, find your side plank. Come to the blade of your left foot. Stack your right foot right on top. Option to stay here, option to stagger your feet, option to come down to your knee. Again, this is your practice. Find what works for you today and stay for one more breath. Press into your hand, lift your hips one more inch, one more inhale. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Option to skip it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Stay for two cycles of breath here. Let's balance that out on the left side. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your left leg. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Drop your back knee, untuck your back toe. Inhale, crescent moon, anjana, yasana, reach overhead, breathe here. Can you notice if your tailbone is sticking out? Again, knit your ribs in. What do I mean by that? Imagine that you're bringing them in by engaging your core, bring your belly button in toward your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side body stretch. Right, left hand comes to your left knee. Reach your right hand to the left. Noticing if the side feels different and do just that. Just notice. One more inhale. Exhale, back to your crescent moon. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chest opener. Cactus your arms, let your head and neck drop. Maybe you come onto your hips here. One more breath. Inhale, crescent, reach overhead. Exhale, low lunge, lift your back knee. Inhale, low lunge, twist, plant, plant your right hand to the mat. Lift your left hand, one breath here. Every limb is working here. Can you send energy into all four limbs? One more inhale. Exhale, side plank. Again, take whatever variation you took on the other side. Rainbow through your hips. Left hip stacks on top of right. Left shoulder on top of right. So strong. One more inhale. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale and an exhale. And just stay here for a little. Noticing if your mind has started to wander onto your to-do list, onto your task for later today. Again, using your breath as an anchor into this present moment. Bring your awareness back to your breath, back to your mat. By now, you probably no longer need a cup of coffee unless you're like me and just like the routine of it. <laughs> but from here, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, come down to your knees, find your rock pose. So bring your knees together, heels together, and then sit on your feet, left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Again, if this does not feel good, you have the option to find your easy seat or whatever else works for you. And just reground yourself, find your breath, locate where your mind is at in this moment. And then we're gonna find our way onto our back. Cross your ankles under your seat. Bring the soles of your feet to the mat and then extend your arms forward. Slowly roll onto your back vertebrae by vertebrae. From here, windshield, wipe your knee side to side. Release any tension in your lower back. And then we're gonna set up for a bridge pose. Bring your feet hips with distance apart. Make sure that you're able to graze your heels with your fingertips here and then bring the palms of your hands onto the mat. Inhale, bridge pose, press into your heels, into your shoulders to lift your hips, engage your core. Option to stay here, or if you'd like to amplify, option to interlace your fingers right under you and then walk your shoulders together. Press into your shoulders, into your heels. 
stay for one more breath. Maybe you lift an inch higher. Yes, so good. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly release from upper back, middle back, and then lower back. And then bring your feet as wide as your mat. Let your knees knock in together to neutralize your spine. Left hand to heart, right hand to belly. One more breath here. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Straighten your right leg up towards the ceiling. We're gonna find a hamstring stretch. So grab whatever's accessible here. Maybe it's your shin, your ankle, your foot. Keep a micro bend in your knee as you bring your leg towards you. Maybe you keep your foot flexed for a deeper opening. One more breath. And option to stay here. Option to wrap your peace fingers around your big toe and then open your hip out to the right. Again, just an option. Oop. Keep your left hip on the mat. And then gently release. Extend your right leg out in front of you this time. Lift your left leg up towards the ceiling. Micro bend in your knee and grab whatever is accessible this morning. Bring your leg towards you for that hamstring stretch. And then we'll repeat here. Bring your peace fingers around your big toe, even if you have to bend your knee. And then open your hip, drop your left leg to the left. Keep your right hip glued to the ground and then gently release. Bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Bring your knees to your chest and rock side to side. Massage your up lower and middle back. And then from here, drop your knees to the right. Reach your left arm out to the left or cactus for a side body or a supine twist. Twisting from right underneath our diaphragm here. Making sure both shoulders are grounded below you into the earth. And then switch, travel through center. Drop your knees to the left, extend or cactus your right arm out to the right. Maybe your gaze meets your right hand. And then back to center. Find your supine bound angle or supta barakonasana. Bring the soles of your feet together to touch. Knees fall out wide. Maybe your hands rest on your thighs, hips, belly, wherever it feels comfortable. Or if you want also a chest opener option, a cactus, your arms out. Bring your elbows in line with your shoulders here. And we're, we'll stay here for about four cycles of breath. Checking in with yourself here to see the quality of your breath, the quality of your thoughts, your mindset. Are you setting yourself up for a successful day? Whatever that looks like, in whatever capacity you're able to do that today. And then when you're ready, you're gonna bring your hands to the outside of your knees to bring your knees in together. Find your Shavasana, final resting pose. Extend your legs out in front of you. Extend your arms out to the side. Take up all the space that you can. I remind you, it's your divine right to take up space in this world. So start here on your mat. Close your eyes. And let's do a quick body scan. Starting from the tips of your toes to the soles of your feet, your ankles, your shins, calf muscles, your knees, your thighs, your glutes, your hips your waist, belly, rib cage, chest, fingertips, palms of your hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest area, neck, chin, ears, cheeks, mouth, nose, eyes, forehead, ears, crown of your head, Release, let it go. 
And you're welcome to stay here. Whatever you choose. I hope that you have the best day, whatever that looks like again, in whatever capacity you're able to do that. Knowing to honor where you're at, giving yourself grace for anything that you do during your day. There is no good or bad. It all just is. And I hope you have a great day. Mm-hmm.